live and an awesome view of my ceiling. Um, for anyone watching this later on on replay, this is a live video. The whole point's for me to be able to chit chat with people, answer questions, etc. If that's not your kind of video, please, 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 please feel free to not watch. I have many videos that are just regular videos without the chit chat. So feel free to watch those. Um, for everyone else, say hi in the chat box. Let me know your, where, where you're watching from. For some reason, it is extremely hot in my studio. So I should have brought, oh good, I do have a bottle of water. Anywho, um, I was having a little bit of trouble finding some inspiration for the live today. So I thought maybe I would ask you guys for some opinions. So if anyone has any ideas, um let me know but i was kind of thinking i found a bunch of my old coffee beans hey reggie hey cindy hey enchanted wood designs welcome guys um yeah i found some of my old coffee beans so i was thinking uh, maybe i do a coffee bean tray uh, or maybe even some dominoes or maybe both um, doo -doo 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 -doo. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. If you would rather, I could do some acrylic pouring. Oh my goodness, I don't know why it's so hot in here. Anyways. Wait, just clearing up my phone. <laughs> Both, okay. Good, good. Hey, Crystal. All right, I always like to set up a second camera so that I can do like just regular videos also because I know not everybody can get in on the live. <laughs> oh, I generally have tons of inspiration just today feeling very frazzled. Um, did not sleep well last night at all and just been pretty stressed recently so <sighs> yeah life you know that's how it goes okay I think I'm pretty set up over here I'll make sure my volume's down on my computer excellent and I think we can start so it sounds like everybody's pretty good with resin yeah does that sound right is it so we can start mixing up the resin. <laughs> yeah, I think so too. Um, and yeah, I'm going to do trays instead of bowls because I don't really have time to do bowls. It's already pretty late in the day. Yeah, I went on a walk at 5 a.m. this morning, so <laughs> I'll probably go on another one tonight. Yeah, okay. That's a little crooked, but not too bad. All right, let's start mixing up the resin. And you probably hear that the heater going, even though it is extremely hot in here, but um, I keep the heater on uh, the resin on the floor generally, and so it's still a bit cool. And since we're pouring it into tray molds, it's definitely always better to preheat. Okay, let me get a domino mold also. And I got these really cute things from Amazon. I'll have to get, if we end up liking them, I'll get the link later and add them to my shop. For now, I don't have them. I don't generally put things in my shop until I've tried them out. Ice cream, that's always a good idea too. Um, but I can't see any reason why I wouldn't like these. And I thought they would go really well with the coffee beans in some dominoes because they are super cute. And I've never tried coffee beans and dominoes, so we'll see how it goes. But these are just little tiny coffee cups. They're like clay and they're really cute. So I think I'll scatter some, do some coffee cups and some um, be coffee beans. How's everyone's week going? Everybody having a pretty good week? Aw, 
thanks we appreciate it like seriously guys any super chat super stickers i appreciate it so much i can't even begin to tell you how much it it really helps me to do everything that i'm doing all right i'm gonna mix up some of my resin in this very well used cup I'm going to go right here, I think. No. No. <laughs> I'm doing all kinds of backwards. <laughs> all right. Doo -doo -doo. That should be fine. I might have to adjust the camera in a minute, but this will be fine for the stirring. So to clean my cup, I just let the resin dry and then I peel it out and it's Anything you see here is generally on the outside of it. But if for some reason you miss some of on the inside, you can always peel that out. It looks like I missed like somehow one little strip in the inside. It's really hard to do with gloves on though, but it should peel right out. There we go. Yeah, missed the little piece on the inside. So I reuse these cups over and over and over. And the last time I used this, I scraped it out really well, so there was not as, it wasn't as easy to peel out. <laughs> Raining in St. Petersburg. Well, that's good. We've got a lot of rain here. It's been a little warmer today, though. All right, for the dominoes, I'm going to mix up about eight ounces, and then I'm going to mix up enough for one tray, which I'll do about 12 ounces. I don't want to mix more than that because... We don't want to mix more than we can use uh, within the work time, especially if you're preheating. So we'll do 20 ounces, and I'm going to start off with part B. This is Mixed Media Girl Artist Resin. So 10 ounces of part B, and then 10 ounces of part A. And now I'm going to unplug this learn here. And then we want to mix for about three to four minutes. And really important, when you mix, make sure that you scrape the sides and scrape the bottom of your cup as you go to get a complete mix. If you don't mix it fully, it will never fully cure. It can remain a little bit sticky, it can remain bendy etc so we do not want that they're gonna therefore we're gonna mix the heck out of it and if we have time i'm going to do a third project which i'm not going to tell you about yet hopefully we have time and that will be in that tray mold oh i'll probably do some coasters as well yay we that's awesome Hey, Jerry. Welcome. Yeah, I usually like to do trays with a couple of coasters. I think it just works out better that way. I'm going to pull a cup a little closer to me. I was trying to mix it out there for camera purposes, but it's just stirring. There's nothing more to see here. And we'll start, actually, we'll start with the dominoes. So I think in this, actually, I'm going to mix just a tiny, tiny, tiny bit of gold dust. Not a Veronica amount, just a tiny bit, just to give us a hint of a sparkle. But because the coffee beans are the prime subject we don't want to overtake it with glitter yes i do sell all of my stuff um i have got some stuff on my website and then otherwise i sell my stuff in art auctions <laughs> on um facebook which i'll probably have a new one starting either tomorrow or friday maybe friday i don't know we'll see um jerry that's a great question there isn't but i had a sale going yesterday so i can extend that to you guys um it 
it was my uh, April Fool's Day sale. So you can use the code. <laughs> if a little is good, more must be better. I don't disagree. You can use the code April 10 for 10% 10 off site wipe. Um, you can use the code April 15 for 15% off of orders of $200 or more. And you can use the code April 20 for 20% 20 off of orders of $300 or more. So if you want to grab resin, go ahead. I'll extend those codes for you guys through tonight. Okay. Hey, Cindy. And yes, real coffee beans. So these little coffee cups, they're not real, they're clay, <laughs> but the beans will be real. And I bought a few years ago, I just bought this really cheap, I think it was like a five pound bag from Amazon of like literally the cheapest coffee on there that I could find. It's probably like Amazon basics, I don't remember. But then I put them in these little containers. So they are very, very well dried out. Um, I don't recommend using like super fresh beans. I don't know how fresh the beans would be that you get from Amazon anyways in the first place, but if you can tell that they're a little bit wet, try drying them out first. I have never had an issue though. You could also always bake them a little bit first. All right, this is good. We're overdoing it now. Okay, <laughs> there's no overdoing it really, but I want to get started. I'm going to start the other camera real quick, so give me just a second. And then we'll get into the fun. And again, I'm very sorry I was late, you guys. It's uh, just one of those days. Okay. Now my other phone doesn't want to cooperate. Got that good and ready to go. And here we go. Yes, I am here now. I'm gonna zoom in just a smidge. There we go. And there we go. All right, so again, I'm gonna kind of scatter the coffee beans. Oh, one thing I like to do with my, my domino molds is I like to spritz them with 91% ice proof alcohol before I start. And that's because with these little dots, you can sometimes get some air bubbles around them and the alcohol will help to get rid of that. Let's Basically kind of, I'm gonna stagger this a little bit. Th these are not in order in this mold, so I don't have to worry too much, but whatever, visually for the video, I guess. Okay, we'll start off with that. And I've got a little dried piece of resin in this one, so I'm gonna take a toothpick and pull that out. And then I overfilled one. So I'm gonna take a stick and take a little bit of that resin out. Just I'll dump it into this next one. And there, I think that should be pretty good. Spritz it with the alcohol again. And now I'm gonna put these little coffee guys in here. So I'm gonna put them upside down, right? Cause we want them to show from the other side. Mm. Trying to decide if I should have them go all the same direction. I think so. I think it'd be weird if they were going different directions. So just for another look at these, they're really cute little coffee cups. Can you guys see that? I can show you guys a close up one in a minute. So two seems to be plenty. I kind of vary them up a little. And maybe, you know what, if I thought of this before, I should put them on ones that don't have as many dots. So like this one has six dots, I wouldn't want to do it in there, but this is two and two, so that's pretty perfect. 
Okay, good. Veronica's got those codes for you. Um, this one's 6 1, so that's also not great. Uh, but this one is just 2 in 1, so that'll work. <laughs> Hey, Bonnie, welcome. You are here live. And I'm going to put it in this. Um, this one has no dots. So let's do that. All right. Oh, spritz with the alcohol again for those air bubbles. Okay, there, I think that's good. Maybe, I don't wanna do them in, in rows, so that one would be right after that, that would be right after that. So I think I might leave it at that. Because I'm not totally sure I'm gonna use all of this resin right away, I'm gonna dump some out into another cup in case I want some clear for another project or whatever. And then, also, because the coffee beans take up space. So I'm gonna take some coffee beans here and I'm gonna actually just mix it directly into the resin. And that way we can be sure that the coffee beans will be fully coated. So I'm not gonna measure or anything, but I want not a lot of, um... <laughs> I know, right? Why didn't they make it with them in order? I don't know, that's a great question. I don't want a lot of clear resin. So I'm gonna add a lot of these beans. Oh, it smells good. Unfortunately, you won't be able to smell the coffee beans once the resin cures really, but. Okay, they're still, they're floating to the top, so it might look like a lot, but they're still quite a bit of clear resin in here. I'm gonna throw the rest of these beans and hope it works out. So you could put the resin down then the coffee beans, but this way you can be absolutely certain that the beans will get full coverage. Why did I say it all high pitch like that? I don't know, but we'll see. We'll see if this works out. I might need to do some rearranging. It, I feel like it looks like I'm pouring like lumpy chocolate. <laughs> All right, so we want a pretty even row of them and we wanna leave a little space in each of these. So it's gonna take a little bit of patience and a little bit of um, manual effort here. And then making sure none of them are sticking out of the back because that won't do. I have never made dominoes with coffee beans before, by the way, guys, so this is a first. So I'm just kind of um, trying to do it in the way that makes the most sense for the resin, the beans, and the mold. And if anyone has any votes on the colors for the back, I'll take them now. I think, honestly, maybe like a tan color might be cute. And then I'm definitely thinking of gold for the dots. Is what I'm already leaning towards. That one just got too much resin in it. Okay. Almost. Now we've got a few more. Tan and gold, red, okay, that could be cute. <laughs> Purple, I don't know about that. <laughs> you guys are wild. Okay, 
it's almost easier to scoop them out with the stick than to pour, I think. Okay, let's try that. It's definitely um, an exercise in patience. So, if I wasn't on a live video, this um, might be a little more relax relaxing. Yeah, off-white would be cute. I tend to stay away from white, like just stark white, A, because it will yellow over time. So I would rather go with an off-white to begin with. Um, but B, I think because the beans and everything are so earthy, like an off-white or a tan would probably look pretty good. Um, yeah, and to answer your question on what color would sell best, I have no idea with this. I think there's um there's a market for everything, so. No matter what color you do, someone's going to like it. So I wouldn't worry about that too much. Okay, we are pretty good here. Some of these really don't have a lot of space left in them. So I'm kind of trying to think of how I could do this better next time to leave a little more room, but they all have at least a little bit of room. which should be fine. The main thing is making sure that none of the beans are sticking up out of the top. Yeah, definitely gold for the dots. Agreed. I'm just taking out some excess resin in some of these to try to lower them a little bit. which also is kind of putting little tiny pieces of bean in these clear ones, which is not bad at all. Kind of helps, I think, even. Okay, I'm calling it good with the beans. Now I'm glad I poured out some of this clear because one thing I would want to do, oh, for the background you mean, Tina? Or for, for this. I like the actual look of the beans though. So I think it'll work out fine. Um, I'm going to add a little more clear here just to get these coffee cups fully covered, but still only filling this in like halfway. And there we go. I think we're pretty good. So as always, I'm going to spritz them with some ice rope alcohol. And then I'll let this sit for about five, 10 minutes and then I'll spritz it again. But for now, we'll move it out of the way and go on to the next project. So for this, I'm gonna do a tray and coaster set. Oh yeah, that's not a bad idea. I do like the idea of the excess room around it though, so you'll be able to see a little bit of the background. I should put that there. I'll make sure you guys can see everything before I get started. And we've got our coasters. Okay, good. So it looks like everything can be seen in the camera. If you guys want to just verify that for me, let me know. But I can see everything over here, so I think we're good. And while I'm over here, let me just show you one of these coffee cups up close. Look how cute that is. So cute. So I've got a few more of those left over for another project. Okay, good. All right, now these will be a lot faster and easier. So I do wanna show you real quick how um, the coffee beans, they're so light that they just float to the top. So you can probably see all that clear resin down there. Um, so we're just gonna mix this again. 
And it's the same thing when you're using glitter or something similar. You always want to continually mix as you go. All right. And I might mix up some more with that clear resin because it doesn't seem like we have enough for this. And I will be doing two layers on this tray, so I'm not super worried about the tops getting covered. I just want to make sure that at least the bottom is fully covered. And then that was a lot of beans. <laughs> So let's add, hey Rhonda, welcome. Let's add some more clear into my mixing cup. I'm still gonna leave a little bit of clear just in case. And then I'm gonna add some more beans. And let's do this. Again, the key thing is just making sure that you push them down to one flat layer, okay? You don't want them sticking out of the top because then it'll be hard to set things on top of them. <laughs> so let's do our coasters here. And depending on how thick you put the first layer in your tray, you can decide if you want to put the handles in this layer or in the next one. Or if you want to drill them in at the end, that's okay too. Um, I kind of would recommend putting them into this first layer because that way you can move the beans around. Hey, Danielle. Um, in the next layer, you obviously won't be able to move them around and they could be sticking up and could cause some issues. So I just want to make sure I get these. We've got enough resin here. I just want to make sure everything gets all the way to the edge. And then I'll grab some handles. This coaster got a little more <laughs> share. And then again, pressing down the beans into one solid layer so that none is sticking out of the top. On the coasters, you could actually, uh, oh yeah, coffee cup handles would be adorable. Um, we, I will do my best. I bought these years ago, so I'll have to see if I can find them. Um, but on the coasters, you could put a a backing of like a cream color or something like that as well uh, because these can be used either direction and then that will make them really pop. I think that could be cute. Okay, I think we are pretty good here. Everything's sitting down properly, mostly. So I'm going to spritz these with some isopropyl alcohol. Uh, any, any coffee beans should work. Just make sure that they're not fresh and wet. You want them to be a bit on the drier side. And again, you could put them in your oven if you'd like to dry them out a bit, roast them. That would also make your house smell delicious. All right, so I'm going to take some gold handles. Which I know I saw in here earlier. And again, screw these in at the end if you want. It's totally up to you. But I have done that a few times and I much prefer to just stick them in. 
And these um, gold handles are also just from Amazon. You can get them at Home Depot or Lowe's, but they're about a hundred times more expensive. And I do mean like an extraordinary amount more expensive. So thanks and no thanks. And I just put them maybe three quarters of an inch or so from the edge. And then I'll just usually turn this to make sure that they are lined up and straight. And just make sure you look at it from every which angle. And you can absolutely get out a measuring cup or something like that if you'd like, but you don't need to. And because I have a few kind of bare spots, I'm going to take just some manually and stick those directly in those spots. But again, not required, just personal taste. And on this, I probably will be putting, I'm not sure, I might put um, like a vinyl saying or something. We'll see. Trying to at least make it semi-even. It does not have to be perfect. I'm definitely not a, not a perfectionist when it comes to these things. All right, couple more, couple more, and then we're good. We'll go, I think I have enough resin to start the next project, which is perfect, because I think I want to do it in a couple steps anyways. So I think that'll be good. Okay, I'm calling it. That's good enough <laughs> to probably stay here all day long. And if you have the time, absolutely go for it. Nothing wrong with that. Absolutely, Lauren. That's a great question. You can literally use just about anything. <laughs> you can use buttons, rocks, uh, crystals, um, even some candies. So a lot of different things. I've used sprinkles, you can use pressed flowers, etc. Okay, so for the next one, when I was looking for these coffee beans, I found something that again, I've never done before. And I was like, let's try that. Hopefully you guys have a little bit of time because it might be slightly longer, but it shouldn't be too long. I'm pretty fast and I have a lot of things to do today, so I can't be here too long myself. But as I was cleaning, I found these um, mosaic class tile assortments. I have done the pressed flowers and the dominoes, but I've used like mini flowers because the normal pressed flowers are too big. So I thought, and I think that'll fit in there. Um, I might want to do kind of a mosaic kind, but I don't want to do the whole thing. That'll take 15 years and I definitely don't have the patience for that. But I'm thinking of at least doing a few rows around the outside and maybe some pressed flowers on the inside, but I don't think I have enough. So probably just the <laughs> the tile and I really hope that I don't regret this I hope it doesn't take like 15 years and then I'm like oh no so <laughs> we will see um Reggie I'll see if I can find that video and post it again on Facebook because it's been a while um it was I think like two years ago so Oh, Linda, did you send me an email on that? Um, the Resin Turtle class, it's not a live class. So it's a pre-recorded class. You can sign up at any time. You can buy the kit at any time and then the kit comes with the class which teaches you how to use the kit, okay? So it's not on a specific schedule or anything. So I definitely don't have enough resin to fill this, but that's okay. I just want enough resin for the outside. 
which might also help this to not move around too much, but who knows. No problem. Okay. Alrighty. I already have a feeling I might regret this, but let's let's go. So I can do this either direction, but uh, I think I'm going to put the handles into a later one. So I'm going to do it as if um, this is the top. And I think for the purposes of this uh, expediency, we will just do single rows of color and not try to get too fancy with it. There's a couple of colors that are like really similar. So if I use those accidentally, oh well. <laughs> I'm trying to put them all the same direction. I might only get two rows in before I go crazy. <laughs> I'm not a mosaic artist for a reason, but I just thought it would be so cute in this tray. So <laughs> bear with me, you guys. I'm gonna go as fast as my little fingers will take me. And now is probably a really good time to ask questions if you have any, because I've got some time. Um, and it's pretty easy to answer questions while doing this. So ask away. I probably should have pre-sorted the colors now that I think about it, but I didn't think about it. Oh yeah. <laughs> Don't forget to hit that thumbs up, you guys. Appreciate it. I kind of wish I had started with a smaller tray <laughs> to do this first with. Yeah, we might just get two rows in on this one. Who knows? If anybody's in a hurry, you can always watch it on replay. <laughs> you can also go make yourself a coffee and come back. I'll still be going. Yeah, I know. That project took forever. I was originally doing these all in the same direction. They've got little lines on them. Now I'm just going willy-nilly already. Okay. I am actually going to quickly sort these. Hey, Catherine. I was thinking that, Cindy, but I'm honestly not sure. I was thinking at least it will definitely be faster to pre-sort. So let's do that. Especially without gloves on, it's really hard to get in there and get specific ones with gloves on. So pre-sorting will definitely help with that. I can't wait to get to this darker blue. <laughs> yeah, you could actually just scatter them in there. I'm sure that would be cute too, actually. Oh, now I kind of want to do that. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure. <laughs> uh, patience, patience, grasshopper. I'll get two, here's what will happen. I'll get two rows done and then I'll just scatter the rest. That's probably how that's going to go. The blues, yes, there's light and dark. They all are the same. Let's just mix them up. Just kidding. I only have like two of these dark. Oh, that's the one I'm using already. Okay. I was like, I only have two of these darker greens. Oh, yeah. Because I use them all. Okay. Let me grab some more because I definitely need more darker green. 
And then we might take a vote on scattering them or not. Depending on how we're all feeling. What do you guys think? Would it be faster to do two rows at a time or one color at a time? Let's take a vote on that first. might just mix up the blues and not worry about light versus dark two at a time okay I think that'll probably look better anyways <laughs> scatter <laughs> okay See if we have some some patience to at least finish this row maybe one more and then go from there actually i will do two at a time might as well huh and good thing is they're not moving really i was a little worried that they would kind of float because i'm sweaty it's hard to put on these <laughs> okay. All right, we'll do blue and green. I do think this is a really cute idea. You just definitely have to have patience. Can't. If you want it to look mosaic-ish. Um, but you could do a whole design in here if you really are good. Like if you can actually do mosaics, you could do entire pictures, right? And make some gorgeous trays. So I'm going willy-nilly on the blues, I'm not worried about light versus dark. I'm just getting them in here and pushing them up against the green there. Two at a time, then scatter. Okay. I like it. Back to green. It's definitely easier once they are pre-sorted. <laughs> by tomorrow or maybe later tonight I'm gonna announce the uh, winners of the giveaway so hopefully you guys entered it I tried to announce it as much as humanly possible I'm sure there's some of you that missed out but hopefully most of you at least got the memo Yeah, I don't even know if I have enough of this one green to go around. I might have to, I'm gonna intersperse it with some of the light green. 
Now it's a little late probably, but that's okay. There's no rules in art, right? Alright, so the next time I get an idea and I say it might take a little while, say no. <laughs> to sell this tray for $7 million at this point. Because of how deep this tray mold is too, um, <laughs> you could um, easily do a few different layers which could kind of be cool. Like let's say you did want to really have patience. You could do um, the first layer in the middle, then the next layer on the outside of that, the next layer on the outside of that, and so kind of have like a staggered mosaic, which could kind of be cool. But again, that would take a lot of patience, a lot of layers. We are definitely not doing the whole tray like this, that's for sure. Yeah, it's just easier to do one one row at a time, you okay? guys. Almost done with the first row. Then we'll do second, then we'll scatter. We got this. Thank you all for sticking in with me. These kind of feel like the um, Lucky Charms, like marshmallows. <laughs> yeah. It would be gorgeous, yeah. That may be a project I take on someday when I've got a little more time. I feel like it would be really relaxing to do that. Just sit here and just take your time. Tiny bit of resin in there and then add your all your stones. And then wait. Go on to the next layer. I think would be awesome. All right, first row done. I need to get one more in there. Okay, so let me just wrap up this second row. And then we'll do some scattering. <laughs> Thank you. I do think it is a beautiful idea. And these are just from Michaels, guys. They're really inexpensive. I think they're in the kids craft section even. Um, but they have kind of a mosaic section with different size tiles. And that's the other thing too, is you could get larger squares. These are the tiny ones. Someone must have given these to me because I cannot imagine buying them for something, <laughs> but I might have bought them. I don't know. I always get all these different ideas and then rarely have the time to do them. Um, I'm sure I'm not the only one that buys crafts for all these projects that you may never do. Craft supplies. That's awesome, Reggie. Yeah, when I was little, I would sit there for hours with pencils and pens and draw, but I didn't have all those bills back then, so it was a little easier. It was a little more carefree. I'm making a hot mess on my table, let me tell you.
Okay. <laughs> yep. I like to go to Scrapbook Expo every year and I get so inspired and I buy all this awesome stuff and then sometimes, I hate to say it, it sometimes it literally will sit in the bag until the next time I clean my studio or maybe even next year, but I always do come back to it. It just may take a while. And then it's like, it's like buying it twice. I get really excited and I'm like, oh, new craft supplies even though I technically bought them months earlier. Okay. Like these gloves are not making it any easier. We're probably also semi well into our work time, which could definitely affect this. Stray white one there. sweating bullets. All right, row two, done. Okay, now we just scatter. <laughs> so there's not resin on the entire tray, but that's okay. Um, I think the key thing is just making sure that they're pretty flat. But again, this is a deep tray, so if some do end up on top of another one, it's not the end of the world. You could have many layers in here. And I do wanna make sure these are actually going in the same direction. I think that will look much better. Yeah, I've poured all of the resin out that I had. So there's just a little bit in here, but that's okay. Each of these is gonna have some resin on them from my hands anyways. And there's a little bit on the whole mold. So on the next layer, I'll just fill it in and it should be awesome. I'll probably see if I have a little bit more resin in the cup that I can pour over just to get like a little bit on each one. Okay. Nice, Jackie. Yeah, I love the Scrapbook Expo. Can you do the tiles first, then the resin? You probably could. I would still recommend putting down a tiny layer of resin. Like I probably put a little too much, uh, but you, otherwise when you pour the resin in, they will move around a little bit. So I think doing this in two steps is better. And again, I might put some more of these into the next layer, who knows? But yeah, you could put them down and then the resin first, they just might move around. And you also run into a little more of the possibility of air bubbles getting trapped in there. So. Yes, Michelle, that's essentially what I did here. I just didn't have enough for an entire layer over the whole thing. But there is a small base layer in here. All right, a few more spots and then I think we're pretty good. Not gonna fill in the whole thing again, but super fun. That's actually a really good idea. <laughs> Does take a lot of patience and time and 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 all the things. Um, but yeah, I think this is gonna be awesome. And I will be filling this in also probably with some diamond dust maybe or something, I don't know. Oh, it had a little bit of gold dust in there. I probably should do that again. 
trying to make this semi-uniform without overdoing it. You'll probably be here all day. Oh, almost put one on top of another one. Okay, I think I'm calling that good. Again, I could probably be here all day. So I'm going to see if there is a little bit more resin left in my cup. And this looks green, but it's just because I'm just reusing this cup. So don't worry, it doesn't actually have any green in it. It just had green previously. That should be good enough. We'll spray it and then walk away and go cool off outside. <laughs> Thanks guys. Appreciate you hanging out with me. Amazingly didn't lose too many of you despite this being a longer live. So again, if you would like to grab some resin, you can use the code APRIL10. I'm just spraying my earlier projects. You can use the code APRIL10 for 10% off. Use, it, use the code APRIL15 for 15% uh, off of orders of $200 or more. Or APRIL20 for 20% 20, uh, 20 off of orders of $300 or more. And those will all expire at the end of tonight and will not be extended so if you would like to grab some resin, micas, dyes, etc., kits even, go ahead and do so. And we're almost sold out of a lot of kits. So now is the time. All right. Any last minute questions before I end off and my computer is about to die anyways? Going once, going twice. So on this one, I will definitely be putting the handles into the next layer, by the way. You could put them here if you want, but it's a deep tray. I'm going to do a, a couple layers. So... Um, I might put them in even the third layer, come to think of it, because the next layer I'll probably just put a little bit and fill this in, and then the third layer I'll put the handles in and I'll fill in the tray the rest of the way. That's the idea anyways. Oh, that actually looks really pretty. I like it. Good job. Awesome, Michelle. Good. Well, if you ordered that, it should be going out tomorrow, I believe, which is when the resin will be coming in. The half gallons, I mean, that goes in that box. Okay, you guys, have a fantastic rest of your week. Thank you so much for joining me, and I will see you all next time.